Hi folks, Justin Welsh from Humminbird Australia. Today we're out on the water and uh, just going through some tech tips. So uh, one of the questions we often get is, what is the difference between the two frequencies for 2D sonar? So um, if I go into my uh, menu, my sonar menu, by pressing menu twice, you'll see a beam select of 200 kilohertz, 83 kilohertz. So what's the difference between the two? Well, 200 kilohertz is a 20 degree beam angle. So it's covering a, an area of the bottom about a third of the depth you're in. Uh, the advantage of that is because we're covering a relatively small area, so here in four meters of water, about a one meter area of the bottom, is that we're getting much finer detail. The issue that we have with uh, having a little cone area is that any of the fish that are between the top and the bottom, we're only looking at such a small area, it can be hard to find them. So, you know, if we're out on a dam bass fishing, we're looking for those suspended bass, it's a bit tough to do on 200 kilohertz. So what we can do is change across to 83 kilohertz. And what 83 kilohertz is gonna allow us to do is to see a larger area. We're now looking at a 60 degree cone angle. So that's giving us a one-to-one -one surface to bottom coverage. So if we're in uh, four meters of water here, we're looking at around about four meters of bottom. Problem is that we don't get the detail of the density of the bottom so much, but we are able to find, a, uh, find those fish that are suspended in the water column. Best of both worlds, we can go across to our 83 slash 200. So we're now getting the definition uh, from that little narrow cone, and we're also getting the, uh, the fish that we're finding in the, um, uh, between the top and the bottom as well. So for more tech tips on your hummingbird, jump onto www.hummingbird.com.au or of course, like us on Facebook.